I'm here today at this beautiful canyon and um, I'm doing coaching therapy with a beautiful lady. Her name is Wendy and she has volunteered to record this session so that I can share that with you. So she's already um, working on some exercise, some questions that I have provided to her so that if she gains clarity on her goals. What does she really want in life? What's going on with her life? What are her challenges? And what does she need from coaching? So the first step is really get clear with what you want. And that's what we are doing here. Writing things down is really important because the mind usually plays tricks on us like a broken record inside of your head and you're not going to find a solution. So the first step is to write things down, really identify what is the problem, okay? And the problem usually is what you're thinking creates a feeling that creates an action result. And then as I wait for uh, Wendy to process her story of her life, I am going to recharge myself, to connect with something bigger than me, to connect with our higher self. <sighs> and this is how I recharge, here's how I connect, here's how I pray, here's how I just get inspired to be able to connect with Wendy's higher self, give her the best guidance that I can give. So I'm gonna be here with my juniper tree for some time. So now I have Wendy's questionnaire answered and we're gonna read the questions and answers and talk about that, right Wendy? Right, let's go. all around us and for us to really understand and assess and have that connection going here it is we have the first question is like what are the three changes do you most want to make in your life right we're gonna find out what's blocking what's in the way that's not allowing this to happen for you okay okay good How you're seeing one thing or how what's happening in one area of your life is happening in all areas work personal relations uh, love relationship everything is the same thing so then if you're really defeated mm -hmm. but once we fix one area one area we're gonna pick to work at mm -hmm. then you're gonna feel better and all the areas are gonna change too that's what's like I can even explain it's like a miracle mm -hmm. it works like all oh, you, you shift your energy and then everything shifts here, I explain Wendy how the body can help the mind when the mind is under stress. So if your body could speak when it's under stress, what shape would it take? I asked Wendy to exaggerate that shape, then I asked her what's the contrast of that shape, and she came out with this movement that represents a feeling of expansion. Body expansion always recalls happy moments in life. So Wendy remembered a moment in her life when she was very happy. Now she has a personal formula, an antidote for stress, which is now registered at cellular level. Then I asked Wendy to walk through an imaginary threshold between those two trees, a symbolic meaning to begin a new life. Wendy celebrates her new self as she let go of her old self behind those two trees. Wendy is now ready to embrace love, support, and a feeling of hope for a happier life. How are you feeling now? I feel more hopeful. Uh -huh. So I'm just, uh, you know, being in nature helps me to feel more connected. And so as we're talking, I'm feeling maybe more hopeful that maybe there are some tools that I actually will stick with and hopefully make a shift. Yes. And how engaged are you to really practice tools that you learned today? I think the tools that I learned today are pretty easy. So I think that I'll be able to start easy with just the, you know, <laughs> opening up and feeling what my life used to feel like many decades ago. 
Yes. Uh, and just trying to remember to do that yeah. multiple times during the day. Yes. Yeah. You already look different. So. You already look more, you know, your eyes are shining. You're like, you know, exuberant and mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So now let's take pictures. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, Rosani. See you, my darling. Okay.